40, 41, 42, 45, 46. Oh. 6 Oh my gosh guys, this is incredible! Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. We have a lot of exciting things coming up this week, and if you're just tuning in, we've been working really hard on the largest plane we've ever built to date, and that is a 20-foot B-17. Now our fuselage and our tail surfaces are done, all of our energy is being put towards our wings now. We're going to be doing some spar testing to make sure it's plenty strong, and once we figure that out, we're going to start gluing our wings together. Along with that, last week we were able to get our pods painted through the help of my niece Becca. We're going to be putting the final touches on those and putting them on the ceiling. Once it's on the ceiling, we're going to have our good friends come out and we're going to be breaking this in with what we call Tiny Whoops. We have a lot of work to do and a lot of fun things coming up. Let's get started. Alright, so our chapter is kind of done with this. So we got the mirrors in. This is where Wes is going to take over. And what do you got, Wes? We've got these uh, adjustable RGB strips. So these LEDs, uh, unlike most LED strips where you can like set their color, these ones you can set the color of each individual LED. So it allows us to see like little moving patterns and stuff with them. So if Dave and I divide and conquer and we get these strips done, can we call you and get you right in the, is it Arduino? Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be using an ESP32. Okay. Uh, just because that can give us a little bit more wiggle room in the future for other fun things with it. Uh, we'll be using those and they program just like an Arduino. I got some other pieces like the tail cone dry and we're also going to be putting some uh, blue lights or some lights that can make the, uh, the, the thrust tube in the back kind of glow differently from the, uh, the rest of it. We're going to stick some LED lights on then we're going to bring on Wes and hopefully we'll get them all programmed. Lots going to change today. Alright, let's do that. So, uh, spar time, right bud? Okay, so, yes, definitely. And since we have so many spars that we have, or different theories we have to check with the spars, I'm thinking if we just put a bolt through here and place it in the vise so it has a, a pivot point, we'll put the scale underneath the center and we can apply pressure to the outside. And in doing so, we can test the shear strength of where the bolt goes through to make sure it doesn't snap there. Okay. And we can also see what kind of load the actual spar will handle. I like it, it's simple. Yeah, and do everything all at one time. Perfect. Something's gonna fail. This has one one layer and this has two, right? Yeah, we have oh, no, nothing, one, one layer and two layers. <laughs> it makes sense, right? I mean, I mean, it's not it's not gonna test wing wing loading. Yeah. But it'll it'll let us know what strength bang for buck we're gonna get. Yeah, yeah, I'm following because it's not gonna it's not gonna calculate how much this grips it keeps it from right. moving. Right. It's gonna see if that rips out or if that breaks first, yeah. and how much weight it's gonna be, and then in comparison to these two, we can figure out what's going to be best weight per yeah. um, structure, yeah. I guess. I like it. Well, for the weight, I mean, I'm so sick of snapping wings. Right. <laughs> Posh for montage. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> um, yeah, I like it, man. Let's, let's do this. All right, so I've got all set up here. We've got the scale zeroed out. I'm just going to apply weight here. We'll watch that and see when it snaps. Wow, that has a lot of flex. It does. I'm gonna hit the table. <laughs> so I hit the table, and that's way too much flex for what we need, for yeah, sure. That's at three pounds. And that's three pounds. Okay. Now, with adding fiberglass, it, it will not flex near as much, it'll snap. <laughs> yeah. All right, ready? Yep. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I see the buckle well, on it. Yeah, it's it's failed right there. It, yeah, there it goes down. So 14 pounds. 14 roughly. pounds. So you realize though, if that's the case, if that's double, and you put 14 pounds here. Yeah. You're putting 28 pounds out there. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's very significant, actually. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm optimistic on this one. I think this one's gonna. Yeah, I think this is where the money's gonna be. We have to put a little kit on top of it. Zero it out again. Ready? Yep. Eight, nine, 11, 14, 16, <laughs> 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27, 28, 20, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 40, 41, 42, 45, 46. Oh. So 46 
You're putting <laughs> 90 pounds? Yeah. yeah that's that's it's almost, it's a, a, almost a multiple of two, so almost 90 pounds at the tip. This plane's only slated to be between 50 and 80 pounds. Yeah, yeah, it should work I out. Mean, theoretically, we could grab it by the tips and almost pick it up. In, in the perfect situation, that would be awesome. Yeah. Great yeah, work, Ben. Let's do it. You did! Yeah. <laughs> After bouncing off my shoulder. <laughs> so the lights are all working here. The next step is Wes is going to go ahead and design a unique pattern. These lights are going to work independently. They're going to act as the motor kind of spooling up and cycling up and then going into full afterburners and then cycling back down. The inside is going to have its own unique pattern and that's going to be more like an engine, right? Yeah. And then on top of that, he's going to match both uh, engine nacelles together. While he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and work on continuing weather in the other engine nacelle and then we're gonna start putting it together. All right, so we're obviously working on a bunch of crazy different projects. In the meantime, Lee and myself, we actually have to hop in our truck with our deck drawer system. We gotta go over to Lowe's to grab some washers as well as some masonite. And so one of the coolest things about the deck drawer system is that you have your main deck, right, where you can put all this stuff like our masonite, but then also we've got all those like little nuts and bolts and washers and stuff like that. We can separate them with those full length bed drawers. Now probably one of the coolest things about the deck drawer system is that it's not only weatherproof, but it's also secure. So you're secure from the rain and the ice and the elements, but you're also secure because when you lock that tailgate, you can't get into your drawer system. And even if you want a little bit of added security, you can lock the drawers themselves if you have the tailgate down as well. And on top of that, the drawer systems, they come straight out right at your hip level. So you don't have to bend down and grab all these heavy tools. They're right there, accessible to you when you need them. All right, so last but not least, something that we really love and support is that they're 100% made in the USA. They have a no hassle, lifetime warranty, and they got second to none customer service. All right, now here's where you guys come in. If you guys wanna protect your stuff like we do in our deck drawer system, make sure you go down the link in the description below or go to deck.com slash flight test and get free shipping on your order. Now we gotta go swing by manufacturing, drop some of this stuff off, and also get the parts over to Dave so he can finish up his project. So let's go get that. The strategy, I guess, is pretty simple. We're gonna have one on this side, and then the, the, the two motors are pretty far apart. So the other one's gonna be kind of closer against the wall, right? Right, yeah, we're gonna try to move them as far apart as possible, but still have a good main space. And I'm loving what uh, Wesley's doing with the yeah, LEDs. Those LEDs look awesome. Yeah. He's got this awesome blue looking stuff coming out the back with flashing lights. It, yeah. it looks incredible. It's gonna be amazing. Stefan and Lee at the same time, we're gonna be hanging this. Lee's gonna be setting up for the podcast right here. So, <laughs> perfect. I'll grab Stefan. Do you want to be on the shorter side? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to sound like a I'm always on the short I side, John. Like this this is death. We were just reaching and I got about one foot on him. So if you take this side, okay. it's lower. Yes, I like that. I think because I love you. You know, I love that, that you love me. <laughs> so you want me to take this here? Um, like yes. This? You know, and here's the thing. It's like, where do we grab this thing? <laughs> go first. Yeah. Like this? Oh, like this? <laughs> really... Careful. Careful. All right. Hello. 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 The two nacelles are, are now hung. Uh, Dave's been running up and down in the attic, and we are about to light it up for the first time. Uh, of course, it's not programmed correctly yet. Wes still has to uh, help us out with that, but we it should wait. light up. Ready? Ready. <gasps> Holy cow. Is that one lit up too? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Oh it's my working. god. I like it when things go right on the first try. Hey, look, you can be. This is, this is what we dreamed of. And the one way mirrors look amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think the pattern definitely needs to be adjusted. Yeah, yeah, he, he was playing with it last night. He still has some more uh, adjusting and tweaking to do in the Arduino. But they're timed perfectly. Yeah, it looks awesome. I love it. Well, I'm gonna, well, that's light and we're not turning this off anymore now. <laughs> 
So we worked really hard on the front of the pod racer. There was kind of like this tribal logo and we don't know what it meant and stuff, but we wanted to honor Jesse and the tiny whoops. So what we did is we took that logo and the inspiration of that, we made a TW and I'm going to put that on the front of the fin. So that way it has a tiny whoop logo in Star Wars fashion. Awesome idea. Love it. So I'll do that. Well, then we'll get the fins up, right? Yep. Perfect. Cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and glue all these chunks together and stuff. We confirm that the spars fit, they fit just fine. I cannot wait to see this go into one yeah, piece. Yeah, be able to hold it, it's just gonna be awesome. Yeah, let's glue it. Well, there it is, what is that, about seven minutes? Yeah. Seven minutes of holding glue together. <laughs> All of, our, all of our curves and all of our access cuts are done on the bottom, so that way it's on the bottom and it's not going to be seen. The top here just looks incredible. Well, one down, one to go. <laughs> so, I'm currently working on the spars, and doing so, we decided to put some spacers in between so that when we bolt it, it can't crush at all. That way we don't have to worry about any fiberglass or anything getting crushed if we over tighten bolts, anything along those lines. So I have the rest of the spars to do here. I'm gonna get back to work. So while Dave's working on the spar, we've been working on a special project that we're really excited about. Later on today, our good friends from the Edgewater Flight Club are coming over and they're gonna be testing out our new pods on the ceiling and having a lot of fun. While they're doing that, we're also gonna be testing something we've been working on really hard behind the scenes, and that's our new STEM Tiny Whoop. Now what we did is we partnered with awesome people like Jesse Perkins and also our friends at Radio Master to get an amazing combo that's high performance but still entry level. So you'll not only be able to get in the hobby, but you'll also be able to grow in the hobby as well too. And working with our incredible curriculum developers, Jake and Trevor, they're gonna write a curriculum around this so you'll be able to build it, fly it, and also learn along the way. We're also gonna be testing out our new budget goggle, and you got to see us put that to the test with our FT10 in a few episodes ago. We're gonna see how it does inside here. This goggle is amazing. It's not only economical, but it has true diversity, it has a DVR, and it charges through a USB. We're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. If you guys wanna learn more about this and also when it's gonna be released, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter because that's where we're gonna be communicating its release. We got a lot of work to do. We're gonna get this place set up. Let's get to it. Friends, I want to thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Also, list down below your ideas of what you want to see the rest of this HQ turn into. We have a lot of really great plans. We want to hear your feedback. And also, hit that subscribe bell because we have a lot more journey with the B-17. And when we're done with these pods, we're not done yet. We're starting on our cloud lighting. We'll see you next time. <laughs>